Welcome back to Mobile Tech World, and today we're going to take a look at Hydro Founder Go for Windows Phone 7. So this game was released today. It's four dollars ninety-nine on the marketplace, and you'll see that it's a pretty nice-looking game. It's actually a port of a Sega Dreamcast game that was released a couple of years ago, and an arcade game. There's a Xbox Live version available right now on the Xbox 360. So let's go into the options. As you can see in the background that's the full game for engine running in real time. So you have the help section which basically tells you how the game plays, how to unlock stuff, the boats and the game modes. Next we have the sound options and you can enable or disable vibration. So for example when you hit a wall or hit an enemy the phone will vibrate. We have the control options. By default you will have to tilt your device to control the boat or you can choose to have a wheel and control it with your finger on the screen. You can activate or deactivate camera tool to flip the controls to put them on the right or the left of the screen and calibrate your handset. So let's go back and start a race. You have nine different race tracks in the game and twelve boats. And as you can see here, everything is rendered in real time. This is all 3D. You have some real time reflection in the water. Performance is quite good, but the first thing you'll notice is that this is actually being rendered at a lower resolution. It's not in YVGA and it's being upscaled by the device. So let's choose the first boat and see how it plays. You notice that load times are really fast for such a game compared to other graphically intensive games on Windows Phone 7 right now. So let's start. Once again it's gonna be a little tricky to play and shoot the video at the same time. So here we go. As you can see pretty nice graphics. We have real time reflection and when I pick the blue items it will actually recharge my boost that can activate by tapping on this little icon and if I want to jump I'll just have to swipe up and this will help me catch other items that are higher in the level or jump over obstacles. So as you can see performance is quite good, it's not super smooth at times but it's definitely one of the best looking games out now on Windows Phone 7 and even on any other mobile platform. I'm gonna turn off my boat and show you how it looks like. So it's a bit tricky, I gotta turn it on back on. Once again, pretty nice graphics. Gonna use the boost. So let's go back and change the controls, try to put the wheel now, and as you can see now I control my boat using the wheel. And it's definitely easier. 
You're going to flip controls. Let's tr try this. And here we go. Now I don't have an icon right here on the lower left. I just have the throttle icon right here to go faster or slower. And as you probably noticed, the racetrack is filled with animations. You have a big octopus right here throwing a boat at me. It's really, really a great looking game. So if you have time, just download the try version like me and try it out on your device. This is running obviously on a Samsung Omni 7 with the latest firmware. So if I have my finger right here on the screen, I can't access the capacitive buttons. So this was a quick look at Hydro Thunder Go for Windows Phone 7. You can download the game right now on the marketplace. It's $4.99. It's a relatively good price for this kind of game. Uh, if you want to see some really good graphics on your handset, just grab it right now. So thanks for watching. You can catch me on mobiletechworld.com or mobiletechworld.tv on YouTube. Thanks.